apparently everything is political now. You know, it's, um... Steven Tyler is basically demanding that Trump stop playing aerospace, excuse me, Aerosmith music at rallies. Uh, if this seems like history repeating itself, uh, that's because it is. Because a few years ago, basically all the same hubbub happened. And at the end of the day, why politics is being dragged into this, this really is a copyright issue. Um, the, the issue at hand is that Trump owns a mass license, which gives him the right to play a basket of songs that would be in that license that he bought. Um, at the time of the issuance of the license, songs that are in that basket, it, he has got the rights to it. Um, so both the holder that issues that license, and in some cases the actual artist who performed the music, may hold licenses. You know, it all comes down to what kind of contract that Steven Tyler and Aerosmith signed when making the uh, songs in question. So it really is an interesting uh, copyright issue. Um, but for me, I, I'm just, I'm sick of the virtue signaling. I am. I, I am, honestly, at this point, it, it's making enjoying any form of art, you know, any form of media, any form of art, problematic. You know, it's like, oh, 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 wait, 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 well, what's the politics behind that? Can, can I, oh, wait, was that ever used um, for anything far left or far right? Ooh, I don't know if I can I can enjoy that anymore. You know, it, it was just, no. I try very hard to basically keep the artists and the thespians, because otherwise I have to be PC and say, actors and actresses, or maybe I'm being patriarchal, maybe I should have said actors actresses and actors, or non That's why I say thespians. At least I don't have to deal with the politics. They're thespians. <laughs> um, but all the politics that are coming out of this as of late is really making enjoying anything difficult these days. If I didn't just set all that stuff aside, I wouldn't be able to watch anything on TV, and not that I watch a lot of TV, I wouldn't be able to enjoy a single movie, I, I, I wouldn't be able to listen to music, because it's, it's all political now. <laughs> um, and that's really what this is about. Right? There is the copyright issue, but like I said, a few years ago that was already settled, so it, the, the contracts are the contracts. Um, this suit is basically claiming that Steven Tyler and Arrow says, you know, there's a cease and desist, actually. It's claiming their brand is being harmed. Which, which is really what this legal action and everything is about. It's virtue signaling. There's a reason the left is reporting this as Steven Tyler demands President Trump stops playing Aerosmith music at rallies, whereas the right is reporting it as Aerosmith tells Trump to stop playing their tunes at his rallies again. <laughs> you know, it's, there's a reason it's being reported with this bias in both directions. Because what this is about is virtue signaling. It's a direct response to the SJWs on Twitter <laughs> going, Do you support Trump? I heard you, your music was at Trump. Do you support Trump? I like your music, but you support Trump. <laughs> so basically, they're taking this action to go, No, 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 no. Because all of our fans are outraged. We are making it clear that we do not support Trump and blah, 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 blah. Why simultaneously speaking the double speak of, well, this isn't about politics. We've always been advocates of copyright. Our music is for causes, not politics. Causes, politics. Causes, politics. Kind of splitting hairs there, aren't you? So it's appeasing the Twitter-geddon and the SJW Twitter files. Here's the problem with this, and a lot of people in Hollywood right now are getting bogged down. We have to appease the Twitters. We have to appease the SJWs and the PCs. This is a lose-lose from a business standpoint. It just flat out is. It's by taking no stance, you're not political. You will lose a small niche, either on the far left or the far right. It's unavoidable. 
But if you, as soon as you act, as soon as you get political and try and appease this small outright niche, rather they're on the left or the right. In this case, it's appeasing the far left. So by taking this and going to Twitter again, and Tyler Smith and Aerosmiths are taking a stand and basically appeasing their far left fans, but it's a lose-lose for them because by taking this stance, they have now made their music political again, and now they're pissing off their right-leaning, not, not far-right, right-leaning and center fans. Because I promise you, Aerosmith fans run the gauntlet of the political spectrum. Some of them are far right, some of them are far left, and the vast majority of them are degrees of variation in the middle. With Trump having 50% plus approval ratings right now, that basically means you're pissing off 50% of your American client base. Now, maybe they're like huge overseas or something these days or something, so they don't care. You know, they're old, they're retired, maybe they don't care. It, it's fine. But for active people right now, it, it, it's a lose-lose. It's So the two issues here are really the copyright, which is it's a cluster futz, because it's do you own your stuff or do you not? And in this case, there's two owners. And the political backwash of you can't please everybody. It's stupid from a business point of view to even play this game in either direction. Your official stance as a business or brand is no comment. Hi, everyone. You made it to the end of the video. Congratulations. Almost no one does. At least that's what the analytics say here on YouTube. Uh, you know, since you made it this far, you might want to consider going one more click and expanding that description down there and go ahead and clicking over to Patreon and become a, you know, patron and contributor. Uh, if not, you'll also find it over in the channel page, but hey, regardless, there's this like-dislike thing, so by all means, downvote if you think I should shut up, or upvote if you'd like to hear more. And uh, if you really feel inclined to do, at least you can do a subscribe, but hey, up to you.